Hi, today I'm looking at uh, Pride. Pride is a 1985 Tartan 40. She's just had a fresh paint job on the hull. She's in really good shape. And without wasting any more time, I'm gonna get you right aboard to take a look at her. So Tartan 40 is a very popular racer cruiser with uh, blue water capabilities. Pride has been extremely well taken care of and it's just had fresh all grip on the hull. It's beautiful. All the varnish has uh, been just done. The canvas is in excellent shape. Lots of room in the cockpit. He's fashioned a boarding ladder, which makes boarding uh, quite easy from the dock. First thing you'll notice on deck is how wide the decks are for going forward. Very spacious, solid decks. Beautiful, bright work. Gel coat's in great shape. You wouldn't know you were on a 1985. That's shows like a much newer boat so this model has an inner force day that's been added so you can put up a storm jib on the inner force day which it has new storm jib or unused storm jib I should say um, chain looks in good shape nice uh, CQR on a double bow roller out the bow rigging looks in good shape we don't have roller furling. This boat is still uh, traditional. So um, if you like uh, traditional boats, this one's great for you. If you would like a little more technology, it's easy to upgrade. Again, notice the wide decks. I can walk down without even uh, grabbing a handrail. Again, excellent examples of the beautiful bright work. So the Dodger is off right now at the repair shop. The sail cover is brand new. Very, this is a very high quality sail cover with a zippered front, Velcro flap, and reinforcing underneath. The sails are in good shape. Some of them are original. Um, you can see a full list of the sails and their dates and uh, other great facts in the uh, full listing which I will uh, post in the descriptions here beautiful wooden wheel there's also a beautiful wooden table that mounts on the pedestal again you'll see that in the pictures you got seating for three and across the aft with the, the raised center you know which helps you keep from sliding around stainless looks in great shape The autopilot and other electronics are outdated, so you get to choose your own here. Alright, nice cockpit cushions, large uh, lazarette to uh, port here. There's your uh, compressed uh, gas. Let's see, quite a bit of room in there. Going down below, the stairs are fairly easy to navigate. And look at that cabin sole. Coming into the cabin to port, you've got a nice galley. Stainless steel four burner stove. Nice deep stainless steel sink. Refrigerator freezer. Which has a convenient front door. 
and I believe this is the freezer compartment. There you have it. Just aft of the uh, the galley, which has nice storage. After the galley, we have our nav station. You've got single sideband, old school uh, Raymarine. This radar works, as does the single sideband. It's got a comfortable seat and all of your. Uh, Electrical is uh, in one place, easy to get to and manage. Nice opening port for ventilation. To starboard, look at this, a nice guest cabin, or master cabin, perhaps. Depends on your preference. Bed's about queen size at the head, but a little narrower at the foot. You've got storage and drawers here. There's your inverter. Just to run like um, laptops and things like that. The hanging locker, nice um, cedar line. We've got three opening ports in this room. And the headliner is in excellent shape. So just forward, we come to the large salon. This sofa is a convertible and I've got a picture of it in the listing made up as a bed. Lots of storage. Beautiful table. And on the other side, the settee here. Uh, opening hatch here with a screen and opening ports for ventilation. The head is clean. You've got a separate shower. Good old uh, sea head here. And you can enter from the uh, from the V-berth as well. The door has been taken off the V-berth, but I believe he has that in storage, and that could be returned. The V-berth itself is a, a nice shape, about queen at the uh, at the head, and you can uh, lift out this to get a little more space in the cabin should you like nice hatch here and two hatches here in the head in the foyer lots of spares on board I believe he's got just about a whole nother boat in spares on board this thing One last thing to check out. This again is 1985. The engine's been running a long time. I'm guessing it has four or five thousand hours on it, but I can't be for sure. Pretty easy to access here. You can see the bilges are clean. Only mild surface rust on this uh, universal diesel. I think it's 40 horsepower. That's in the listing too. And the back side of the engine can be gotten to from uh, the Lazarette in the cockpit. 
So that's Pride. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, going through fairly quickly. Um, she's a fairly simple boat. Um, she'll need some electronics and things like that um, upgraded, but I think she's priced right for these uh, very popular and very sturdy blue water racing cruising boats. Um, if performance sailing and, and comfortable amenities are what you're looking for, uh, I'd like you to come take a look at Pride or at least click on the listing and take a look at all the details. Thanks again. I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates. Have a great day.